Good afternoon, you guys. I kept saying to myself, like, I need to vlog, I need to vlog, I need to vlog. I haven't vlogged in a while. And then I just looked at the clock, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's already after 12, and I haven't vlogged yet today. So, hi. Haven't talked to you guys in a while, um, but I wanted to bring out the camera because, hang on, Porter needs more milk. What do you want? Milk. You want more milk? Yeah. Okay, I'm just about to go down for a nap. But I am vlogging today because we have Grayson's four-year-old doctor's appointment. So it's been over a month since Grayson actually turned four. Um, he turned four on April 11th and today is May 26th. But this all happened because of the pandemic. So, which a lot of things are caused by the pandemic. So back when the pandemic happened, they shut down everything, even doctor's offices, unless it was like an emergency, but they weren't doing like routine checkups. Well, Gray had his, like, I think it was his two year appointment or something, and the doctor's office wasn't scheduling anything. They didn't open up until like a month later in May. Well, due to insurance and everything like that, the insurance won't let us schedule an appointment that is earlier than a year. So last year, we had to go and wait until May because the year before we didn't go till May. And that is true today, why we have to wait until May, the end of May, instead of going in April. I don't know if you guys care about that, but that's why we're going so late. So anyway, we are going today. Gray's gonna go. He's very excited to go to the, the doctor. He loves going to the doctor, and he's very, he's usually very, like, good-natured, and he's very, like, willing to cooperate and let them get whatever measurements they need. This appointment's gonna be a little interesting because I've heard that at the four-year-old appointment they get shots. Now, Gray did really good when we did the flu shot, um in the fall. He got a flu shot on his leg, or no, I think it was his arm. Didn't even cry, like, didn't didn't even do anything. And I like pumped him up about it and we got ice cream afterwards, whatever. So this time we have shots. I think it's more than one. I actually really have no idea. We're gonna find out. So I'm hoping he does well, but you know, with kids you just never know what you're gonna get. So we will see how it goes, um, but I plan on vlogging a little bit while we're there, and then of course I will update you afterwards. I'm very interested to see his stats. I'm pretty sure he's 35 pounds. We have a scale upstairs that he'll step on from time and time again, and last time I saw he was 35 pounds, and I don't know like where that is, like percentile, and then height, I'm not sure, but he's pretty tall. So I think he's going to be pretty high percentage for that, but it will be interesting to see um, to see where he falls on the percentages. Gray's over here. Say hi, Gray. Hi. Are you excited to go to the doctor today? Yes. Yes. He's playing on his iPad. I'm about to put Porter down for a nap. I was able to schedule it to where... Um, Porter is taking his nap while we go to the doctor's appointment so that I don't have to take both boys because that might be a little chaotic. So we're gonna go, kind of a boring day today. Um, it's raining like all day. So we're kind of struggling staying inside and trying to keep ourselves busy there. But I hope you guys are having a good start to your summer. Um, it gets warm and then it rains and then it gets cold and up and down, up and down. So I, I put the kids' winter clothes away. I think we're done with the cold weather for now, but it's Ohio, anything can happen. So we'll see, but I was so sad yesterday. I put away all of Porter's winter 18 month clothes. And so it made me sad, like, oh, he's just getting so big. Like he's almost into 2T for everything. He's doing 2T jammies. Um, I'm gonna try to get through as much of the summer as I can with his 18 month clothes since he hasn't worn any of them yet, but he is just so dang tall, you guys. I don't know how much longer he's gonna fit into those 18 month clothes, so. We'll see, but definitely we'll be into the 2T clothes when winter comes around again, which his birthday is in September and he'll be two then, so it'll all work out, but he is just a tall kid. We have tall kids and I don't know why because Anthony and I, we're not tall people. So I, I do have a tall dad and a lot of my siblings are very tall. My sister Kelly is like five, nine or five, I don't know. My brothers are tall too. Everybody's tall except for me and my sister Allison. We're like the short ones but 
maybe that's where they're getting the height from. I'm not sure, but they're definitely growing on track. Grayson, what are you doing? Oh, Mama. I'm just playing iPad. You're playing with your iPad? Yeah. I'm just playing with triangle and big and small. Oh, good. I don't have too many concerns that I'm going to bring up with about Grayson. One of the things I want to bring up about is he constantly has to be chewing on something or have something in his mouth. He sucks his fingers all the time and lately he's been getting into chewing on his shirts. And so he always has like wet spots on his shirt. And so I just want to bring it up like is this normal? And then also sometimes he like plugs his ears if things are loud so i just want to make sure that these things are okay but other than that no real big concerns i have with grayson are you ready to take a nap no should we go in the night no mama no mama yeah your camera can you say hi 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 yeah yeah camera can you sing me a song can you sing rain rain yeah Sing hey, 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 another day. Day, day, day. Great, great, and Porter want to play. Why, why, go away. Good singing. Can you do Baba Black Sheep? Baba Black Sheep. Have you any more? No. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. Mom. One for the master, Mom. one for the dame, and one for the little boy who lives <coughs> down the lane. Wow. Ba ba ba. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. Yay! Yay. Porter has been singing songs here and there, and it's so cute to hear his little voice. He loves singing. Oh, sorry, Gray. And of course, Grayson loves singing, too. So, lots of songs going on in our house. You reading a book? In the animal room? Small. Short. Tall. Checked his vision and his hearing. Hi. His height and his weight. Go. Fast, slow, heavy, light, day, night. Hey. Say hi. Hi. What are you eating? An apple. Oh. What are you doing, Porter? You playing with Elmo? Porter rediscovered his Elmo toy and he's loving it, huh? We made it back from the doctor, and Grayson did so good. He's doing great. He gained like three inches, like three pounds, so he's a big boy. And he got two shots. Show me your Band-Aids, Gray. You show me your Band-Aids. Oh, two Band-Aids. Yep, he got two shots in the same arm, Tdap and MMR, and he didn't even cry. He was so brave. He did so good. Sorry if the Elmo songs are loud. I've got Batman and Aquaman. Yeah, they give you superhero ones, huh? Gray did so good at his appointment. He did everything they said. He failed part of the sight test, but it was like, he had to put on like 3D glasses and see like a 3D image and he was just guessing. They said most four-year-olds don't pass that and he didn't pass it last year either. They said they'll recheck him when he's five and they seem to get it by then. So other than that, he did really good. I did address the issue about him chewing on his shirt or chewing on anything and the doctor said that's very common very normal basically it's just going to keep happening until Grayson realizes he's doing it so I just have to point it out but it'll happen it'll go away when it goes away so 
that's totally normal. I did talk about how, like, he really hates loud noises and, like, will cover his ears, like, with the vacuum and stuff. And he said that's very normal. He might just be a little more sensitive to noises. But other than that, like, very normal. So all that went well and got his two shots, got his paperwork filled out for preschool. The preschool requires, like, a physical. So we got that done and he's all good to go and he'll go back in a year. So he did super well, he cooperated, he talked to the doctor. Um, doctor asked him, you know, what do you like to eat? What do you drink? Um, he asked him, or he like said, can you hop up and down? Can you hop, up, stand on one foot? Can you throw like a paper ball? So good on that. And then he was like doing letters and numbers and Greg guessed them all, of course, cause he knows them all. So other than that, it was, Overall, it was a really good appointment. I'm glad it's over. I'm always glad it's over. I always get so nervous about how he's gonna be. So he's all set to go for year two of preschool, which is awesome. So other than that, we're just kind of chilling. It's still raining. I really wish I could take the boys outside because they're going a little stir crazy being cooped up. And then I've got Mr. Felix over here. Felix, he is king of the blankets. Are you king of the blankets? He's like, I'm staying away from those crazy kids. But yeah, other than that, we're just gonna hang out. I'll vlog if anything cute happens, but no, no, we're just gonna try to not lose our sanity today. We'll see if we make it. So we actually caught a break in the rain. So we're on a little walk. Gray loves riding his big boy bike. Anthony actually had to fix it the other day because the training wheels were too low and the wheel can catch traction so Anthony had to like raise the training wheels <laughs> but he's on it now and I'm pushing forward her. just enjoying the weather while we can before it starts raining again but Gray loves riding his bike he's really good at it he can go the whole block and Porter cheers him on Hello, so I'm sitting here in my bathroom. It's been a couple hours. We had dinner and then Gray helped me with a new letter board. I'll show you it later because we're upstairs right now and we're doing bath time. Porter was in the bathtub and now he's not. Porter, say hi. Hi. He has this new thing and I don't know what to do about it, but he... Um, constantly tries to poop while he's in the bathtub. He will like start farting and thinks it's funny and I tell him not to and then he pushes so much that he ends up pooping in the bathtub and this happens every single time now and so I don't know how to punish him so I just took him out and Gray's still in the bathtub but I don't know how well it's working so that's what I'm dealing with right now. I never had this problem with Grayson. Yeah, that's what we're dealing with and now Porter's brushing his teeth. Brush your teeth. So we're just counting down the minutes till bedtime or at least I am. 